brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to breast out a couple of Canadian geese, and we're going to cook up some goose breast on the grill, and it's real easy to do. Cut. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Jitterbug here uh, bagged a couple of uh, Canadian geese, and uh, you can see here how it's banded, and this one uh, is banded, of course, for research. So the numbers on this band will be forwarded uh, to an agency to better understand and control the overpopulation of the Canadian goose. Now the uh, Canadian goose, of course, for many is considered a pest and uh, they will damage the environment and the overpopulation of these birds is a problem. So uh, one technique hunters often use is called the breast out. And since about 90% of the meat on the Canadian goose is the breast, Hunters will often remove just the breast for eating. And here Jitterbug is uh, removing the feathers from around the sternum area, the breast area. And now with his knife, he's uh, skinning along the sternum in order to expose the breast. Now, if you're one of those Vegematics or you're from the food police, it's best you leave this channel right now. This is not for you, all right? This is the way it's done. One half of the breast has been removed from this bird. Take a look at that. Oh man, there's some good eating at the pit. And through the miracle of time, all the breasts have been removed and are being placed in a brine for about 24 to 30 hours. Now we're gonna take the band and get the information off of it and report it to the uh, proper agency. Now these uh, breasts have been brined about 26 hours, maybe a little bit more. And uh, much of the blood has been removed. And the oiliness of the uh, breasts has been removed. And here Jitterbug is just gonna take these breasts and cut them right down the middle. Oh yeah. You can see the shell shot in these. These are definitely Fresh caught birds. It's good. Now the first thing you gotta do though, of course you're gonna pound out these breasts and this is an important step. This will help tenderize it. Pound it out flat. Goose breast can be a real tough piece of meat. So pound it out good. All right, they've been pounded out. Now you want to fork them, all right? This will help break down the fibers. This again will help tenderize. Then again, you know about that, right? All right, these breasts have been forked, all right. Now for the marinade. Now, of course, you could use your favorite uh, meat marinade. Uh, you can pull something off the shelf and make your own. But we're gonna show you one of our marinades and it's real good and we'll list all the ingredients on our website, right? Now for this recipe, we're gonna need some panzu. You're going to use about two tablespoons. And here's some uh, sweetened sour sauce. We use about uh, four tablespoons. Here we've got some uh, pickled ginger, slices of ginger. We're gonna use about one and a half tablespoons. And 
here we've got sriracha, hot chili sauce. And we're gonna put in about two and a half tablespoons. And here we've got some toasted uh, sesame seed. And use about uh, two tablespoons. You can see here that this is a Asian style marinade and it works good. And here we've got some Worcestershire sauce. Use about uh, four tablespoons. And here we've got uh, some of Emeril's Asian Essence. You can uh, use a substitute if you like. This works real good. All right, give it a good mix. And we're gonna let this marinate another uh, 12 to 24 hours. Oh man. And once again, through the miracle of time, oh, the next night, we're gonna cook up some goose breast. But here we've got some uh, goose sausage. We've got some hot, and we've got some sweet. I'm gonna use this for snacking. Oh yeah, fresh goose sausage, it's good. I say it's time to cook up some goose breast. Now we've got a medium heat going on. And we're gonna grill them opposite the hot coals. Mm. We're fairly close to the fire. It's gonna be juicy, tender. All right, it's about 10 minutes into the uh, grilling of these breasts. They're looking good. Look at that. Oh, man. Not too much longer to go. All right, about another 10 minutes has gone by. We're gonna check on these breasts. Oh man, take a look at that. Coming along good. We're just gonna flip them. Leave them on the grill, uh, maybe another 10 minutes at the most. I say, it's time to eat. Oh, man. Now we'll uh, serve up this goose breast with some fresh corn on the cob, some tomato, cucumber, onion salad, some roasted potatoes. Oh, man. It's a good eating at the pit. Of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege.
So the next time you're looking for a goose recipe for your barbecue, check out barbecuepitboys.com.